Hey guys, Nylon here with another episode of Super Flat Survival. If you're wondering where we are now and why I have a chainmail chest plate in my inventory, well, I'll just tell you that right now. Uh, well, I'm down here. Uh, it's nighttime up there. I'm doing a little bit of work on the spawners. Um, as you remember, last episode we left off and we were getting killed by those spiders um, and, and zombies, and we couldn't find a way to really, you know, and I'm on peaceful right now. Just to let you guys know, I don't want to be going in there, like, getting totally killed by these guys every three seconds, because that would be no fun, um, like that happened last episode. So, I'm going to keep it on peaceful around here uh, for a little for a little while until we get it up and running, and then uh, eventually, once we get this place cleaned up and we have a proper exit, which will be up this way, uh, then I'll probably switch it to uh, hard mode again. But that's only going to be around here, because um, doing it anywhere else would kind of be pointless because Minecraft's really no fun when you're playing on peaceful. So if you're wondering why I have a chain chest plate in my inventory, well that's because a zombie spawned with like full chain armor and like fell down here into, into the spawner area and I killed him. And he dropped this chest plate like half damaged. Um, but this is the way I found out how to kill the uh, the zombies and spiders. Let me just set this up. Uh, and if you're wondering what happened here, there was some iron and gravel, so I just took it, tore it down. I should probably tear down this too, I don't really like the gravel. Um, but eventually we'll be cleaning this place up fully, uh, putting it with wood, making it look nice, adding a crusher system with lava. Um, but I think that's going to have to wait till next episode, because this episode we're going to be on the hunt for a new village. Yep, that's right, a new village. And I was going down here to test it, wasn't I? So, the reason we need a new village is because I'm going to need a lot of wood for this project, and uh, chopping down all those villagers' houses is pointless, and we need to find some saplings. So, we're going to be searching for a new village this episode. Um, don't worry, I wrote down the cords of our base so we don't get lost, but as you can see, someone suggested this in the comments. Um, I actually found it out before they did, like right when I ended the last episode. I was like, Oh, you can just dig down here, and it's the same as doing it above like I had before. Now, remove the fence gate, so we're down two blocks lower than the fences. So they should decide to spawn any second now. Yeah? Alright, let's go, guys. Come on. Come on down here. Hey, zombie. So, yeah, as you can see, they're spawning, and they can see me through the fence, so they're all, like, shooting down at once. And I can hit them like this, and it's all perfectly fine. It's pretty efficient, too. Um, since the zombies and the spiders get down here so fast, they're able to spawn a lot quicker. So we'll just switch this to peaceful again and make our way back to the top because we're going to go find a new village today. Hell yeah. Um, so I think I'll meet you guys at the top and we'll uh, prepare for the journey. I'm prepared for the journey up here. Uh, I got everything together. I got a lot of baked potatoes, so those will come in handy. Let's probably cook up this iron. Maybe we'll be able to make... Um, a helmet. Yeah, we'll be able to make a helmet. And I also kind of want to make a golden apple just in case things decide to go wrong. <laughs> Maybe there'll be a creeper or something. I don't know. So I'll make a golden apple right here. Let's go. First golden apple. There we go. And also, I should probably bring. Hmm, what should I bring? Bread. I don't really need bread. Bones, no. Thinking. No, I don't really need to bring anything else. I think we're good. So I think we're ready for the journey. Let's just make some boots here instead of a helmet. There we go. So we should be good. I'm not going to wear this. This is just too... Well, that looks cool. I have to say, that chainmail looks cool. Let's see this. Oh, yeah. Chainmail chest plate. From a zombie. Um... Although I don't want to damage it right now. I kind of want to get level 30 enchant or uh, repair it so it gets full health. So I think we're just going to head out in a one general direction and see if the village decides to show up. Who knows? Maybe we'll find one.
finally found this village here, so let's see what it has to offer. Hopefully saplings or diamonds. I'm hoping. Please be saplings. I don't want to have to go to another village. Yes, saplings. Oh my god. And 10 obsidian. I don't think you can get much better than that. 7 saplings and 10 obsidian. I think that's... So we have 3 on the bottom, 3 on the top. 6, 7, 8, 9... Oh, we need 2 more obsidian. And I brought these buckets here so I could take the lava from here. That is just great. Seven saplings, yes. Hell yeah. Two lava buckets, and what else can we take? Uh, let's see here. Let's see with these villagers. I'm going to take their crops, too, because you can't go wrong with too much food, can you? Let's take these. Take their potatoes. Carrots. We're gonna be having a feast tonight. Thirty-two carrots already. Take these ones. Let's also see what these villagers have to trade for. Um, because maybe one of them will have a good trade. Who knows? And our our villagers are our villager, pretty much all dead. <laughs> it's not very funny, but yeah, they're all dead. Which sucks, but you know, the zombies are gonna come around and kill them sometimes. So. Better now than later. Well, I actually did. I don't know if I talked about this in uh, an episode before this. Is I put some of the villagers like in a, in a hole like this. And two down so we, were, we would be able to breed them um, when the time comes. So we could just throw them in a hole. And then when we needed them, we could get them out so the zombies wouldn't kill them. Uh, that's why I did temporarily for the villagers. Um, so they wouldn't all die since I didn't have the place lit up yet. And... I think that's good for potatoes and carrots. I don't really need any more. I think there's another... Yeah, there's more farms over there, but we don't need those. Let's see what these guys have to offer. You are a bad deal. You. You. You're a good deal, but... I think we have some better deals at, back at the... Back at the place. I'll take these iron bars, too. Just because they use iron. Who knows? We might need iron bars sometimes. Actually, I'm thinking of switching the fences out with iron bars. Um, and the fence is what I mean is like the place where we're going to kill the mobs when they fall down. I think I'm going to re replace those with iron bars. Um, because I think the iron bars look a lot nicer. So we're going to head back to the village. And we're going to start a little bit of work on the spawner. We we'll probably won't finish it today. Um, but hopefully we'll get a decent amount of work done. So I've made it back to the uh, base here. Um, it wasn't too far of a lock. It was about, about three minutes or so. Uh, I think there was supposed to be... I don't know, I think this was for a villager before. Like I said, I was hiding villagers in these holes here so they wouldn't get killed by zombies. But I don't actually think I filled this one up with a villager. Just make sure we have some... I know there's one in here. Yeah, there's a guy in there. That's good. Alright, let's see. Are there any other villagers around here? That would suck if there's no more. Come on. Not looking too promising. There's one right there. There's one right there. Alright, there's one there, and there's one there. I think. Let's just make sure this guy's here. Say hi. Yeah, he's here. Good. Good job. <laughs> he stayed alive. Alright, so let's go over here. Um, I think. I know I said we were probably going to work on the, a little bit more on the EXP farm. But I think right now we should work on a tree farm and hold off for the EXP farm till next episode. And I've been laying out the tree farm here. Um, I've just dug this little trench here. And I'll show you what it's going to be in a minute. I'm going to need some wood to build it. And I guess that's the reason we're building a tree farm, isn't it? So we might have to cut down another uh, one of the villagers' houses. But my idea is to have this tree farm sunk into the ground one level. And then have... Uh, what's it called? Half slabs on the top to make the trees not grow as tall like the big trees so we can just cut them down really fast and everything will be good um, so one sec let's get this done get all this dirt out of here don't have oh yeah I have some wood here so we'll be able to uh, let's go to the crafting table and get some stuff ready here get some of this stuff uh, 
we're definitely going to need some more uh, wood, but I think this should do for now. Well, no, it's not going to do for now. I should probably collect some more of uh, this good stuff up here. The wooden logs. And, yes, I still have the saplings on me. Just making sure I don't want to lose those saplings. So I think this will get us pretty much through the tree farm. I'm going to need to make stairs lining the whole place and then half slabs on the bottom. Although I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't use half slabs. So this will make us a stack almost. And we can uh, make a little bit more stairs. Let's just go like this. Because we're going to probably use all this for stairs. Anyway. Alright. 40. That'll do it. That will just do it, I think. Let's see. Actually, it's probably not going to, but we can try. So this is my plan. I'm lining it like this on the outside rim. And then I'm going to have a tree every two blocks. So right here I would have a tree. One, two. Right here. One, two. Here. One, two. Here. Two. Here. And then we're going to need to make this one longer. And actually two longer. And the reason I built it over here, because I think the... Uh, I was going to build it over here first, but I think the exit for the XP grinder is probably going to be around here, coming up to the top. So I didn't want it to come right into the bottom of the tree farm, because that would not be good at all. So, one, two, there. Yeah, that's perfect. Now that these stairs curve, it's so much nicer. And you see that right there? That's so nice. It really is. That might be one of the best updates to Minecraft, I have to say. Um, I think we need a little bit more wood. Let's go get some more. Uh, Alright, this one looks good. We'll be able to get it from this. Taking down this village slowly, but surely. The thing's going to be gone sooner or later. But I guess we can start... Eventually I want to build the, my base into the sky. Um, I know I said that I would do this last super flat series. Uh, or last super flat season, I should say. But... We didn't end up getting to do that, but I really want to build my base up in the sky. But right now, I'm just focusing on getting as many resources as I can. We're not going to be able to survive in the sky with no resources at all. I think that should do it. 22. All those carrots are grown. That's good. Let's take some of those. Go back to the crafting table. Do I have any bones? Hopefully I do. That would be really nice if I had some bones. Where did I get four iron? Oh, it was in the furnace, wasn't it? Can't make anything good with that. So let's see if we have any bones. Nine bones here. And then we have enough to make... This. There we go. Alright, that should be more than enough. So let's lay those down. Right here. do it. Let's see. Let's try to grow one of these trees here. Make some bone meal. There we go. Yeah. Alright, let's... I need to test something out here. So I want to place a block on the top. So let's use dirt to pillar up. So would right here stop a big tree from growing? Let's see. Right there. I think that should be more than tall enough. Or, yeah. I think that should be about right. Let's see. Cut down this. And then wait for these to despawn. Alright, do I have any shears? Might as well make some shears. Get these leaves. Might be able to use them in some future builds. Alright. Here we go, get some of those leaves. Oh, probably don't want to do that to all the trees. Also, run out of saplings. Maybe I should break some of these then. <laughs> Alright, give me a sapling. Come on. <laughs> give me a sapling. Alright, now. Are these even going to drop saplings? I hope so. 
Alright, whatever, we'll just use this one. Take this guy. And put him right there. So, see if this works. Yeah, that works, except it's like halfway into the ground, which is weird. Um, but I think this tree farmer will, will, will work for now. Uh, I just gotta extend those to every single tree. So, right here would have been where the other tree would have gone. So I'll pillar up here. And take those two out. I just have to do that for every single tree, and I think the tree farm will be done. Um, I don't really think there's anything else we can do with the tree farm. I know it doesn't look too cool, but I think it'll be pretty practical. Um, so I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Uh, I hope you did enjoy this episode of Super Flat Survival. And if you did, please leave a like and a comment. Um, and yeah, I think that's that's it. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.